How's it going guys? My name is Graham, welcome to Two Left Thumbs. You're watching a video promoting the Patreon for Sock Pop Collective, a group of indie game developers who for the last year and a half have been releasing two game jam style games every month. If you want to be a part of it and support them, you can get access to those two games per month for as little as $3 over on their Patreon. There's a link down below to their Patreon page, you can go and pledge there. There's also a link to their itch.io page where you can buy the individual games for $3. Also, in case you want to put it off until the end, the end card at the end of this video is also going to be a link to their Patreon page. Page. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy the video. This is Chat Ventures, the newest game from Sock Pop. I'm jumping ahead a little bit playing this new one because I thought it just looked very cool. It's an MMO text adventure, something that spent a little bit extra time cooking in the oven because the developer, as they got further along, were just like, damn, there's a lot here. You interact entirely through text, there's a bunch of different places to go to, interactions to have, items to collect, quests to finish, it just seemed really, really interesting. So you get to kind of generate uh, your first account and it gives you like a password and things. I won't be sharing mine with you guys. I feel like my chin sticks out quite a bit, so I'm gonna go with this guy whose thing just goes like crazy out to the, s to the side. Casual eyes, straight nose, poop hairdo, nice pouty lips. Pale as can be, ab absolutely. Eyes a little bit further apart. Nose weirdly far up on the head. I kind of give it a little bit of that Philip Dre J. Fry hair appeal. Graham? Hello! It's, it was go coming at me repeatedly like, are you ever going to answer here? What's up? You need to wake up. Oh, I guess maybe I shouldn't try to talk to it like it's an actual person. We need your help. All right, wake up. Come to the Holy Temple in Big Town. You're sleeping now, but when you wake up, you'll be in Small Town. Talk to the mayor of Small Town. She will help you. I was just going to type in, go to Big Town. I guess I have other things to do first. So don't forget to talk to others and become stronger. If you don't know what to do, there's a bunch of different commands. There are others that are hidden. There's like 50 different commands. It's obviously only listing like a dozen right now. Oh, wait. Great, I don't, oh, there are there other people? There are villagers, there are other villagers here. They're not other people. Talk Ellie. Or do you say talk to Ellie? No, that works, how can I help you today? Check Ellie. He has smears on his face, oh, it's probably Eli, and hands raw with calluses. Ask Eli, how can I help you today? Consume Eli. <laughs> There's a sound effect to go with that. It's pretty great. Oh, this is handy that you can just like... Oh, I thought maybe you could click to insert it. Because that would be really, really helpful, I think. Help Eli. Can I just... Is that a convenient, easy way to give help? Ask Eli about Big Town. Nope. Ask Eli about Big Town, not Allie. Can't say I can help you with that, sorry. Can't complain about this place. Sure is going great. Talk Ara. Oh my goodness, okay, here is someone willing to actually have a conversation with me. I love going to the thicket. There's a small, hidden small cave where you can usually find some cave mushrooms. They are my favorite. However, lately something scary seems to inhabit that cave. I wish I could eat at least one of those mushrooms again. Do you think you could get for me, Graham. Yes, yes, I will do that. It's just as soon as I remember how to speak like a, a proper functioning human being. Go to caves. You don't see such a place. Go to hidden small cave. You're not sure how you would get there and realize you might need a higher perception. You look at Eli. Oh, maybe I ended up. Maybe Eli didn't apply there. I just ended up looking. You see the shop, the town hall, the docks in the northeast, a thicket, and next to that lie the West Plains. You see Eli the artisan, Ara the villager. You notice a pebble, s pebble, some crates, a barrel, Pinchlamon. Hello, Graham. Oh, we got another player actually playing the game. Yo, Pinch. Oh, weird. Okay, this is the MMO part. We're playing this at the same time. Ask about softwood. It's a crafting material. I'll buy it from you for six coins per unit. I am going to pick up pebble. 
<laughs> what? I couldn't. Oh, wait. Pick up a pebble. I can't pick that up. Are you kidding me? That's very silly. Look at some crates. Oh, wait. Look, look just always looks, I guess. Check some crates. It's just some crates. You're not strong enough to push them aside. All right, check a pebble. How about that? It's just a pebble. This appearances can be deceiving. Check a barrel. It's just a barrel. But I see some cotton. Pick up cotton. Great. Pinchelmon's over here selling just all sorts of stuff over to this guy. I got I got nothing. Well, you you keep you keep going ahead with that. I'm gonna go head over to the thicket. Only I'm here, and Noel, Noel the Gremlin. You see the village small town south, and a stump. You think there's more here to be found, but you need higher perception to find it. Pinchabon hopped on over, and also another Gremlin, Catchy Kathy the Gremlin is here now too. They just started punching. What are you doing? <laughs> I didn't want I didn't want to do that. All of a sudden we're in this battle. I didn't want to start getting into a fight. Oh god. Is it just a matter of how much I how how quickly Oh Noel was defeated. Okay, punch Kathy then. I guess we're punching out both of them. It's a good way to try and level up, maybe. I I I, I, I was gonna go a non-violent route here. <laughs> okay. Defeated, pick up cotton. Perfect. I wonder if we're seeing different things in that scenario or if that was all there was. Oh, pick up bark. I just noticed very quickly that he also dropped bark. <laughs> I wasn't expecting uh, a battle. Can't we just be friends with them? Talk to Audrey. <laughs> Do you guys wanna, you wanna talk maybe? All right, I, I guess we just keep, I just keep going for it. Seems like a good way to to get some basic materials and experience. Oh man, it it's a uh, first come first serve on item drops. <laughs> oh, we suddenly have uh, man mantis man <laughs> also joined the room. <laughs> oh my god, there's I think there's something going on here. I don't think there's supposed to be this many. Gremlins, what is going on? I feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna get killed out here. Is Patton dead? Did I kill Patton? Okay, start punching doll then. Oh god, okay, I think I actually took a hit there. Ah! Punch Urea. I'm, oh no, 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 Urea. I'm gonna punch you in your urethra, Urea. They're not very good at landing hits, actually. <laughs> oh, I leveled up. There was like a nice little fanfare to go along with it as well. And I just keep getting more cotton. Uh, well, I want more strength for more damage. I want more perception so I can find more things. Uh, I like the sounds of having more of that. And more evasion is probably good. I, mean, I, I spent everything already. I feel like I'm probably not supposed to just indefinitely punch these like warm-up enemies there's not a lot going on here you notice an entrance to a small cave Ooh, and pick up tin great that was probably something that dropped earlier that we missed go to small cave i wonder if raising my perception actually changed that or if it was more a matter of i just spent enough time here you see the thicket and a mushy rock. All right, check the mushy rock. It's an abnormal state for rocks to be in. Couldn't find anything. It's a nice rock. And Gilly the Wolfling appeared. Well, I guess I just start punching Gilly. Oh, they're very dodgy. Oh, the mushy rock is a mushroom. What am I thinking? Oh my god, this battle's going on a lot longer than I expected. And I'm just trying to, like, rattle off these attacks as quickly as I can. Holy cow. This is gonna just keep going, isn't it? Check Gilly. Oh, I just killed him. I just, okay. And there, there's some actual experience to be had, finally. Jeez, okay. 
pick up the one singular cotton, I guess, and pick up a mushroom. Yeah, couldn't pick that up. Dang it. Pick up mushy rock. Couldn't pick it up. Why not? It couldn't require that much strength, could it? Extra constitution for additional health. I didn't mean to invest in it twice. That was my bad. <laughs> you check a bushy rock. You couldn't find anything. It's a nice rock. Behind it, you see a cave mushroom. That's very much like the Simpsons. Like, wait a minute. There's a lemon behind that rock. I like, I like the joke that the mushy rock was not actually the mushroom. So in that case then, I can actually get the mushroom. Damn it, cave mushroom. Pick up cave mushroom. Pick up cave mushroom. I'm really butchering the commands here. Damn you, <laughs> Acme mushroom. You pick up one damn cave mushroom. What is the tree house? Everyone was going to the tree house earlier. Oh, you have to be able to see it. Go to thicket first. Go to small town. You're too tri tired. I didn't know I could wear myself out. Is that like, st no, it's mana, not stamina. Well, I guess I'm fighting Valley. Back at small town. Okay, Ara, talk to Ara. Gain 300 experience. Did I, I immediately gave over the mushroom? Great, you're now level four. Oh my, is that a cave mushroom you got there? Can I have it? I guess I don't have a say. Thank you so much. Here, this is copper. It's not much, but I want you to have it. Oh, good. Oh, good. Thank you so much, Graham. For a second, I thought I gave them my money. <laughs> take. Take copper is taking a thing? Because I'm still seeing zero coins. Oh, no, no, no. They gave me copper the material. All right. Check the copper then. It's a material. Yeah, I want to know what I can do with it. Ara looks very normal. Yes, a normal looking person. One more strength, constitution, and skill? Sure. I don't know what you have, Eli. Buy Eli weapon? <laughs> Buy a sword? All right, well, I'm leaving this town and hopefully I can go find an artisan that can actually help me. Go to shop. Oh, that seems much more applicable and much more useful. Bella the shopkeeper. All right, first, first I just want to look. Look at Bella. Oh, or look in the area. Look through the windows, you see small town, you see Bella the shopkeeper. Check Bella. Check her out. She looks like she knows her trade well. I bet she does. I'll trade well with you, Bella. Pinchlamon is back. Talk to Bella. I'm doing research on the healing capabilities of slime. Would you mind helping out, Graham? If so, defeat five slimes in the plains and come back here to report. You ask Bella about wool. It's a crafting material. I'll sell it to you for 13 coin per unit. I'll buy it from you for 12 coin per unit. Ask about milk. Uh, it's a consumable item. Yeah, you might as well ask about all this stuff. But like, I want to like, I want to know what you have to sell. I don't know what to ask for. I want like, I want items to equip to my guy. Oh, ask about stock. Oh, okay. There we go. There now I've learned. Now I've learned what the hell you're supposed to ask in order to find that out. Ask Eli about stock. A short sword, a knife, rag, straw hat, sandals, Brody helmet, metal plate. Ask about Brody. It's a hat with resistance to melee damage. I can sell it to you. It'll cost 75. Ooh, a tin and copper. Oh my goodness. The short sword, you can buy uh, that for 80 coins. Damn, son. Costs a lot. Ask Eli about bark. Do you like bark? Do you want bark? Sell Eli 10 bark. See, it says to enter an amount. What if I do 10 bark? Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
Sell 10 bark to Eli. There we go. That's how you sell everything all at once. One resistance to all damage types. Buy hat from Eli. Straw hat. I want the straw hat from Eli. Pleasure doing business. And now I can stick my wonderful straw hat with resistances to everything onto me. Is that not what that's for? Do I have that automatically equipped? Oh, no, 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 it's a, it's a text adventure. What am I doing? Equip straw hat. Did I do it? Oh, I spelt equip incorrectly the first time. Oh my goodness. My janky finger movements are really, really hurting me here. Look around the town hall. You see Esther the mayor. Talk to Esther. Hi, Graham. You want to go to Big Town? Well, they closed the gates for now, and since there are so many visitors lately, you need a permit to get in. I can give you one. However, my assistant disappeared a few days ago, and I need her to write a permit. Maybe you can help find her? Where should I go? Ask Esther about assistant. Oh, it totally says ask about stock to learn what merchants sell. The tooltip is, is right there. I have no idea where she went. I wanted some help, Esther. That obviously wasn't what I was going for. I similarly don't know where she went. It's wild how useless <laughs> that was. Go to docks. I'm sure good things always happen by the docks. You're blocked by some pirates. Can't let you go through, bucko. Punch pirate. Not allowed to. Can't can't be done. In that case, go to West Plains. It seems like I'm a, I'm a step behind Eli or a P Pinkle Pinklemon Pinchelmon here. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best to keep up. I guess we're both uh, going full attack mode here. I'm not gonna pick this one up. I'm gonna skip the tin. Hopefully, they're willing to uh, work with me here. Uh, and we'll, we'll each alternate picking things up. So I'll, I'll pick up the softwood, and then they can pick up whatever drops next. I haven't even looked around here, actually. Uh, you see to the east, there uh, there's a small town, there's on the other side, central plains, and a farm. So might as well start punching these guys. Oh god, I got slimed! I got slimed so hard! Ah! Punch, Bart, punch... Bart. Okay, good, good, good. Punch. What was the other one? Jess. That was that, that was kind of cool. I wasn't expecting there to be like effects like that. Oh god, I think I think I just got poisoned now too. Maybe that might have been what that was. Pick up milk for me. Oh, I'm totally just slowly recovering health over time, which is cool. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to the farm. Go to farm. And here we have Fitz, who is just a rat. But yeah, sure, we can punch up a rat. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of that was a lot of damage actually. They must not have uh, very good defenses, seeing as they're a rat. That cheese is all yours, my man. Look, look around, look around, see what's going on. See the West Plains. Talk to John. Maybe I need to be more specific. These stinking rats keep eating my crops. Do you mind helping me out, Graham? Come back when you finish off. Five of them. Yeah, we could try and punch out five rats. That seems pretty, pretty simple task to me. Easy quest overall. Who who can who can type out their repeated punching faster? Pick up wool. Oh, I guess I guess I ended up with extra wool for that one. Give. Let, let me let me see if let me see if anything like this works. Pinch. Lemon. To wool. I don't know if that did anything. Oh, there, I, I can just drop the wool and then they would have the ability to pick it up. And also, there's this. <laughs> That's just fun. That's just stupid. <laughs> Talk to John, you stinking rats. Come back when you finished off five. Uh, oh, dang. Maybe, maybe we're not sharing kills. Punching the pee pee. Check out John, an old farmer. He looks nice, but troubled. 
Talk to John, you have my thanks kit. Hopefully my crops will grow a bit better now. What if I also talk to John? Hmm. Can I learn about another player by doing a check? Oh, cool. Yeah, I just totally, it totally brings them up over to the side here. That's funny. <laughs> Salute. That's funny. We had to go our separate ways while Pinch Levon goes and, and, and buys a few things in town. Six people online, that's pretty good for it being like a relatively newly released Patreon only game. And I, I mean, eventually it'll be on Steam. Sockpop's been working on moving their games over to Steam, but it hasn't been like an immediate thing. This has obviously like a lot of different text adventure games that it would remind me of, but just the fact that it's kind of like this medieval fantasy setting and that there's other people concurrently playing the game, it's giving me some very strong nostalgic feelings for Kingdom of Loathing, and that is a, a huge credit to this game. I really genuinely hope that they do like uh, infrequent, semi-infrequent, like, updates to this game where they expand the universe and add more quests and areas for you to go and everything, because I, I feel like it would be really fun to, to flesh this out further and further and further. It's not like you really have to draw new assets, like, a, a few things, but, like, that's pretty minimal. <laughs> Dodging never seems to really be worth it. Just continue to commit to attacking. I guess maybe there's like a boss battle where there might be like a wound up style attack and in that case you want to be a little bit more evasive. Mac the walking carrot. I left and came back because I wanted, I wanted more rats to appear. Oh my fat fingers keep typing too many, too many damn buttons. Keep punching mackle. Oh, 10 apples. That's great. Pick, pick up apple. Ten apples. It's a lot, it's a lot of apples. It only heals ten health. I guess it's not that great. Guess I can also work on punching additional slimes. It seems like waiting around is not worth it. It's way better to move between different areas so that it spawns new enemies. Like hanging around new enemies will eventually show up. But, uh, it, it seems to be way more effective to leave and come back. And when the West Plains and Farm are right next to each other like that, then I can just commit to punching a slime, and then go back to the farm, and punch the, the new rat that's there. Hey, 300 experience, level 5, you have my thanks, Kate. Hopefully my crops will grow better now. But hopefully not so, so good that they turn into more uh, walking carrots. I feel like that's something you probably don't want a lot of. Alright, back to the West Plains. I want to quickly look around here. There's the farm. Go to Central Plains. See what kind of new things are, are out there. I traveled too much back to back. I wish I was finding coins now and again. I don't like that I have to entirely go... I uh, sell all this sort of stuff. So she'll buy them for six coins. I just want to quickly see if it's worth my time to like ask around. There was bzzz, there's a new a new actual person. Oh, he's specifically not interested in buying an apple. So I guess there's that. Sell all my apples to Bella. I just kind of I just kind of want it. Uh, I guess I'll sell all my cheese as well because that's probably worth a decent amount. There, that's the kind of kind of money I'm looking for. Buy a short sword from Eli. Oh damn, I need materials as well, right. Oh, I don't have enough skill to use a short sword even. Dang, I really gotta, I gotta work on that. I gotta invest in skill and dexterity more. All right, I'm going to the West Plains. I guess I might as well fight whatever's here. Going to the Central Plains. Kaja! Oh, we're getting, we're getting more things in here all at once. I see they must have an actual weapon because they're using slice instead of punch. Punch. Joe. Punch is such a convenient, easy thing to chain together on the keyboard. You get a nice rhythm going with that. Repeat. Oh, could that just be like, that's what the last person did? You don't have this skill. Weird. Okay. That's new. Well, what, what else is there in the central plains here? There was a bunch of milk just lying around. <laughs> oh, man. We, okay, we suddenly got uh, Dennis the King Slime. Oh, man. Okay, we got like a real battle all of a sudden, maybe. 
I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll actually have to, like, dodge. Dennis is, the way, the way Dennis is spelled there, it's very irritating to, to type out. I, I hate it. If anyone's name is Dennis spelt this way, I hope you know that your name is weird to type. Oh man, these, uh, they, I, th it's the first thing that actually does, like, real worrisome amounts of damage, though, too. I'm kind of glad I'm not going this one al alone. <laughs> this is, this is kind of going on for a while, and this is the only, only means I have to attack. That's a, a, a lot of misses. Oh, I actually, I got poisoned on that one. Oh god, I'm taking more poison damage. Oh god. Consume milk. Consume milk. <laughs> oh, no mana. I don't care about mana. Shit. All right, all right, all right. Punch Dennis. Must try to live by uh, punching furiously. Dodge? Dennis? Try and get the hell out of there. <laughs> Maybe that maybe that'll save me from the next attack. Oh nice, we got someone else in the room here. Oh god, but more things are showing up to, to support the, like to counteract the fact that there's a bunch of people in here all at once. I think when someone new joins, it spawns as many enemies as there are currently like now in the room or something like that. Oh god. I'm gonna start trying to kill Juan. Oh, I'm, I'm too far away from, like, leveling up to try and save myself that way. Oh god, repeat is going nuts. That must... that must take, uh... Oh, I'm getting blasted by poison and acid and things. That is not going well. Repeat seems like it's really, really helpful. I'm just gonna check a quick honk out there for fun. <laughs> just to let everyone know I'm still here. <laughs> I got a little haha. -ha. Oh god, I... I fainted. Reviving. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, don't, I don't necessarily like reset. All that and they dropped one bronze and I'm not going to be here to pick it up. Pick up bronze. <laughs> Revive? Dang. Oh, it sent me back to small town. I picked up the bronze. I got back in time. All right. Uh, sorry to everyone else, I guess, that I grabbed that. I'm gonna quickly look and see if anyone uh, left anything. Uh, pick up softwood. Pick up coins. Those might be my coins. I'm not actually certain. Pick up a uh, pine wood. <laughs> nope, nope. There's more stuff going on, and I am not. A, uh, not not a fan. I don't want to be a part of what's happening there next. I'm not down for another boss battle. That was too much too soon. Look a, look around here. Uh, the sandy shore. Go to sandy shore. Although it might not be accessible because it's purple like that. Oh, I was able to go to the shore. All right. Ryan. Punch Ryan the crab. Turns out the crabs are pretty easy. It doesn't take very many landed hits. To, to actually kill one of these crabs. I don't know why I thought they would put up more of a fight. You see the cells plains north of here and the vast ocean on the other side. Look at the co-ocean. <laughs> look, oh, look doesn't work that way. Check, check ocean. What are you trying to check? The ocean. Check here? Ooh, check quests actually. Slime research, go to Big Town, finding the assistant. I do know that I do want to go back and talk to the slime researchist. I just don't remember where they were. Were they in, like, the town hall or something? I think things gain extra... I, I, th I think they gain extra life when there's more people in the room. It's easy to sell stuff later, hard to acquire it. So maybe don't go just selling absolutely everything all the time. That sounds like good advice. Oh, the East Plains, I see the big town West Gate. Talk with Bella, did she give the the quest? Oh, the assistant, haven't seen her in a while. Okay, in that case, maybe it was Ara. Talk to Ara about the slimes. Oh, you mean the mayor's assistant. I think I saw her go to the thicket the other day. Oh, I see some footprints. Check some footprints. <laughs> These have been here for a while. You follow the trail and then some to stop at a tree. 
You look up at the tree and see a tree house. Oh yeah, and two gremlins started attacking you. So that's why people were trying to go to the tree house before. Now and again, there's just a name that I just hate typing. Right now, it's Vivi. <laughs> I feel like there's a few things people forgot to pick up last time they were here, as well as the stuff that I just made uh, drop. Go to Treehouse. Okay, look around. You notice a broken chest. You couldn't find anything? It's a broken chest. Damn. Does it matter that they're a rogue gremlin? Because they seem awfully hard to kill. Hoping the experience is worth it. Grr, I won't tell you where the assistant is. Leave and I'll just give you the permit stamp instead. Okay, take permit stamp. You couldn't pick that up? Pick up permit stamp. Does that work? I want it. All right, all right, all right. Talk to Doreen. Talk to Doreen. Come on, work with me here. Ask about the permit stamp. So if I just go to the thicket. If I just go there, the permit stamp was thrown at you. You put it in your bag. Well, that's one way to get it. I like that. I, I guess you can't go at it totally mindlessly. You got to pay attention a little bit to the to the text box to see if like a specific interaction like that is happening. Go. I, I went back to Farmer John. This is land. Be a bit magical, you know. Well, some of my carrots have started walking around. It's cozy, crazy. <laughs> But makes the farming too bothersome. Would you mind helping me out here, Graham? If you look closely, you'll spot them. Come back when you get rid of ten, ten of them. I don't really feel like dealing with another another farm quest at the moment. Go to forest entry. I don't think I've come to these northern plains before. Look around here. The evergreen forest. Oh, the wolflings give a lot of experience, actually. At least they did the other time. I feel like I know more Sarahs in my life who have an H at the end of their name than those who don't. But now all of a sudden I'm thinking that all Sarahs and Taras and all such names should drop the H's from their names. Everyone should have the shortest, most efficient uh, version of their name possible. No more, no more long names. It's a global decree that I would like to take effect. Level six. Okay. So I need uh, a little extra skill and a little extra dexterity, but I don't think, I still don't think I'll have enough. All right, I'm gonna go to the four forest though. See what's going on there. The evergreen forest, go to evergreen. No, I should make my way back to town quickly. I'm glad they picked such a simple name and not some weird fantasy thing that you can never ever remember. Small town is nice and descriptive. Oh, I talked to Esther. 50 coins, 200 experience. Oh, you got the stamp. I guess that's fine as well. Here's your permit, Graham. Good luck out there. The assistant is still ongoing. Check quests. More farm trouble, slime research, and getting to Big Town. The assistant... Oh, so I didn't find the assistant. I'm thinking I never will, but at the very least, I got the, the stamp figured out. Who the hell cared about the slimes? Oh, I might have enough to, to actually move the crates now. Okay, go to Back Alley. Back Alley entered. Who do we got here? We got Thom the Rat. And Shady Man Reuben. Look around. All right. Talk to Reuben. You look eager. Maybe you can help me out, Graham. I got trouble with some pirates at the docks. Here, take this letter. They'll let you through to the docks. I'll teach you something cool if you get rid of five pirates for me. I've already been playing for a tiny bit over an hour, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> 13 strength, 13 skill, I can totally handle that, but I don't think I have enough tin. Buy three... Mm, buy three tin from Eli. Oh, he'll only buy it. He'll buy it, not sell it. 10 per unit, damn. Oh, but she'll buy it for better, so you can shop around a little bit. Buy three tin. And five copper? I definitely have that. All right. Buy 
short sword from Eli. God, spelling is just a nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> there. Equip the short short. Damn it! Why is, why is life so difficult? There we go. I actually have a weapon. Extra base damage. I actually have real base damage. Go to the docks, which I can actually go to this time around. Teda. I do want to quickly just look before I start punching. And there's boats docked. Are those pirate boats? Does punch, punch still works. What if I slash, slash Teda? Oh, item moves. So, slashing damage scales with strength, and stab piercing damage. Ooh, so I wonder if it's better to do uh, different things from time to time. Pick up tin. There's a nice healthy supply of tin all at once. Oh, I wonder if this is where I'll learn repeat, is when I go back after killing pirates. Oh, the pirates are a great source of experience and materials, and this would just never be doable punching. <laughs> Or at least it would never be worth the amount of time it would take. I just saw Pinchelmon asking about the, the cave mushroom in town. So I was like, oh, maybe they don't know how to find it. Seems like, seems like they already did. Big Funkus just, just <laughs> entered. Oh, they're gone again already. Dang. I'll ask him about the metal plate. Armor, five resistance to melee damage. It'll cost 110 and 30 tin. Spelling his name right, like, half the time is pretty good. Oh, stick. When you ask him about stock, I thought he said, I got stock, I got short sword, and all those other things. Stick. Stick would have been the simplest weapon. Probably could have afforded that forever ago. Oh, the, it was the shopkeeper. Did I do that incorrectly before? Oh my god. This data is great. Thank you so much. Here, have some coins. Oh, I... <laughs> This is fun. This is fun. We're getting to share a little bit insider info. Pinchamon was like, go to the shop. I'm pretty sure they're the slime person. Um, and now they're asking, like, have you figured out how to go to the docks? They probably saw me type in, go to the docks. Come to small town. Go to small town. <laughs> See those crates? Use check on crates. Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, cool. That felt great. I was able to like share that and send him off on his way. Maybe I'll see him in the docks in like a minute here. I, I think only have to kill two more pirates. Oh, uh, uh, don't blow your chance. You got a head start here. <laughs> it's cooperative, but I don't, I, I, I'd rather just like get it done. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm rushing myself too much here. <laughs> I swear doing the different uh, attack types like doesn't seem to matter. I do less damage. Oh, nice. I leveled up. I'm, I'm taking the one extra dexterity that might be needed for a few very specific things. How about an extra agility and more, more perception? It feels good to be wise. Check barrel. Is it still just a regular barrel? Punch? barrel. Can I break it open? I cannot. Now I'm, I'm waiting for another pirate to spawn. Level 7 is pretty good progress. It's pretty much always worth it to leave and come back. Pick up copper. Nice copper supply. Going to the back alley. Talk to Reuben. Was that how it was spelt? Learn the skill repeat and 600 experience. Wow. This is how you repeat. It's easier than saying the whole thing out loud every time. There you go. There's a nice handy one to know. That's huge. Check quests. What do I have then? More farm trouble and go to Big Town. Punch Len. Can I just obliterate uh, enemies all of a sudden now that I have an actual weapon? That's, that's satisfying. Go to the East Plains. Go to Big Town. Does that count? Check Big Town West Gate. Go to Big Town West Gate. Ah, perfect. The Holy Temple and Big Town Plaza, and you see Jack the Armorer. Talk to Jack. 
Hiya, Graham. You know I've been trying to craft a really interesting ornament for my grandmother, but I'm still missing some materials. Can you help me? Bring me 20 copper and 20 iron. Holy crap, dude. I don't even have any iron right now. Go to Big Town Plaza. That sounds fun and bustling and exciting. Look, there's uh, different gates. And the north, you see an amazing royal palace. You see five pine wood and five, a five apple. Oh, well, he's pick up apple. Nice try. Oh, damn, he already got it. <laughs> and a royal guard. You, I want to talk to the guard then. Talk to royal guard. Well, how did that just work? Oh, he sold it. He sold it to the guard. Only those of the royal family, the royal guard, and renowned heroes may enter. You are none of those, Graham. If you wish to become the latter, go kill 20 poison slimes, and then we'll see. Man, he just sold a lot of stuff to that guy. There is more, so much more going on here than I thought. I'm actually going to go quickly check on uh, the, the, like, itch store page of this game. Over 50 text commands to uncover, so like obviously tons that I haven't found, 50 areas to explore, 90 items, 30 different enemies, 20 NPCs, 15 quests, fun little character creation. I've been playing for like an hour and 20 minutes and I only just made it to Big Town. And now there's like a whole new realm of things that opened up in Big Town. I think this is really impressive. I think it's really cool. And the fact that I'm playing alongside other people is really interesting. I'm pretty excited about this one. I hope you guys are too. I'll have a link down below. Keep an eye out. They're doing Steam releases now, but it's a little bit delayed before you'll actually see that. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you with more Sock Pop again soon.